Okay, so in 9.7, we're going to look at two specific, I uh, guess, types of forces. Is that the right word? Variable and a distributed force. Now, why, why do they bring this out specifically? Well, most forces that we've been looking at thus far have been constant forces, meaning it was 10 Newton or 100 Newton over the entire time or over the entire distance. Okay? But what happens if a force varies, it changes over time or it changes as you move it from one position to another? The, the magnitude changes. Okay? Uh, and an example of a variable force is a spring force. A spring force is a variable force. Okay, we've already seen. Um, I don't have it in front of me now, but it is a linear relationship. As you compress the spring, there is a, it, the spring force doesn't stay constant, it increases, right? And then another kind of force that we want to look at are distributed forces. Um, and an example of that is the friction force. So um, the rest of the, the forces that we've been looking at have been applied at a well-defined specific point of application, okay? Whereas a frictional force is distributed over a surface. There's no specific point when you're considering friction, right? So consider your hand um, rubbing over the desk or um, the car tire, anything like that, your, your foot on the ground. Uh, the friction force is a distributed force. Okay, so we want to look at these two types of forces in this section 9.7. Okay, so the first is a variable force. Now, here's an example of a variable force. You've got the force, the magnitude of the force on the vertical and the displacement on the horizontal. And in this specific case, you've got a force that decreases as, it, as the object moves from x initial to x final. Okay? And so what we want to do is we want to calculate the work done by this force. We know that w basically work is force times a displacement. But what do you do when you have a variable force? Well, to cut a long story short, we integrate. Okay, we integrate from x initial to x final. We integrate the force function. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, this is the, if you've got an equation for this line, f as a function of x, then you integrate that force function um, between x initial and x final. Okay? So, uh, you know, a function could be anything like this, right? f of x could be 2x plus 3. f of x could be minus 0.5 times x squared. f of x could be minus 100x minus 20. My point is all of these are functions of x. Okay? So you could have a force that looks something like this. It's a function of your displacement. As you change your displacement your force changes. And whenever you have something that looks like this, I'm, you know, I've just made this up, right? Whenever you have something that looks like this, it's a variable force. And the way that we calculate the work is by integrating this function with respect to the variable x. Okay. Okay, we'll do this, this example 9.8 in the next one.